a councillor who worked tirelessly to deal with floods in her village while her own home was waterlogged, been nominated for a national award. Geraldine Brown could win, could win £10,000 for her work on flood relief in Yalding. She helped the area cope in 2000 and 2013 when the River Medway burst its banks, submerging Maidstone in several villages. And I'm pleased to say Geraldine joins me now. So first of, Geraldine, first of all, take us back to, to those awful moments when, uh, when you found the floods. Well, 2000 was probably the worst because um, I'd never experienced it before. Nobody was talking to anybody. Everyone was trying to evac everybody, evacuate everybody and it was just nonsense. So after that, we decided we had to do something. So we wrote an emergency plan. We sorted out an emergency centre. So at least when the floods came in 2013, we were a bit more prepared and we were able to help people in the community and keep people in touch with each other because that happened in 2000, we lost touch with people. So, um, yeah, that is a... As I say, that's the view from my uh, my bedroom window, virtually. And it must have been absolutely devastating. It is, because um, although we get 24 hours warning, it's coming. Um, when you see that water start trickling up through your floor or in through your door, you think, oh, because up until that point, you've got your fingers and toes crossed that it's going to go past. But it is, it's horrendous. And, and some people can't cope with it. Others, you know, have worked, it's not just me, worked alongside me in trying to make sure that everybody was safe. And what about the award itself? You must be surprised. Tell us how that happened. It was brilliant. Um, Helen Grant, our MP, nominated me. Um, and the £10,000 obviously will go towards community resilience. Um, and it's an honour because so many other people um, were nominated and to be shortlisted six, that in itself is an honour. It would be great to win, but um, just to get this far is really good. Because there still must be so much uncertainty, isn't there, at the, situa at the situation because you're still under huge risk. We are. Um, we were hoping that we could build two flood storage areas, um, but the final modelling shows that the catchment is too shallow. So what we're working on at the moment um, is one property level resistance, which is surveying all the properties. Um, there's funding available um, and putting in things like doors and pumps. But not all those properties that were flooded can um, benefit from that. Mine won't because of its construction. So then we move on to the community resilience, which is building walls and buns to sort of hold the water back and keep it away. Um, but it takes such an awful long time, number one, to get surveys done, number two, to get those, but it's taken us three months to get the surveys, the scoping surveys back. Nobody's fault, it's just the number of properties. Um, so, but we're not going to get any major, major work. But we have set up with the Environment Agency the um, Medway Flood um, partnership and we have um, the flood plan which is being launched on the 1st of December which has brought together all the stakeholders, um, Southern Water, EA, UK Power Networks, Network, all those people that do things and we're trying to get them to do them together. Geraldine thanks ever so much Thank for you. coming in and best of luck with the award. Thank you. Thank you.